It is widely believed that animal sacrifices for religious reasons are allowed by law. But tonight there are questions about how those animals are sacrificed and how they're being cared for before they are killed. Investigative reporter Carmel Cafaro has this special report. These little goats would not live long after being sold for sacrifice for $100 each. And this is how animal sacrifice starts. This is how the cruelty starts in Miami-Dade County right here. Activist Richard Kudo, who goes by Kudo, went undercover with another man to buy the goats. Kudo says he told the seller they would be killing them for religious sacrifices. These animals just are, are treated as commodities and they're not cared for. He says the animals are not fed properly, their medical needs ignored, and they are shown no kindness while waiting to be sold. And when sold, they reportedly started screaming as their legs were tied together. A veterinarian on scene said both looked underweight and sick. They don't look well cared for at all, and they, they're, they're thin, um, sick, have external parasites, and probably internal parasites. This one also has a respiratory infection. Evidence of animal sacrifices shows up regularly here in South Florida. Recently, the bodies of five headless goats washed up near Miami shores. And before that, 7 News discovered a site that contained the skulls of domestic pets, a cat and a dog, not to mention a human skull. To people who are not practitioners, sites like these can be disturbing. I have seen horrific videos of animals that have had um, someone sawing back and forth across the throat with a dull, serrated kitchen knife. After a 37-year career in law enforcement, much of it specializing in animal cruelty issues, Sherry Schluter now represents the Humane Society of the United States. She says she has never seen a ritual sacrifice that was not a violation of cruelty laws. I never saw the animals handled humanely. I never saw animals killed in a manner that would not violate state law. It is widely believed that a Supreme Court decision years ago protects religious sacrifices, but Schluter says that's not the case. If the suffering is egregious, a person could be charged with a felony. Law enforcement should be addressing animal cruelty regardless of the purpose. She says the way workers handled the goats Kudo rescued is inhumane. He had planned to free them and nurse them back to health, but by the next morning, one was dead. Come sit with your little friend. And within weeks, the second little guy who had been taken to a sanctuary also died. Both were too sick to survive. Carmel Cafaro, 7 News.